continuing my tour today on July the 27th, 2010 in Toronto's Liberty Village, uh, which is a historic uh, industrial uh, heritage district here in Toronto. And Francesca is here with me. She's a local expert. And what building am I looking at? Um, this right now is the roastery that is part of the original EW Gillette factory complex. Mm -hmm. And we uh, lovingly call it the castle building. As you can see, the, the trim on the building is reminiscent of a castle and it is actually built uh, based on Casa Loma in the neo-gothic revival uh, from medieval sources. Okay. Now, if we walk down here, this is actually Liberty Street, right? Mm -hmm. yes. We're walking westwards, and there is a huge industrial building here, probably from the late 1800s. What is the name of this building? So this is the Toronto Carpet Factory that you're looking at. Again, it's sort of a complex style manufacturing uh, building that was done in campus style mm -hmm. um, with many buildings. You can see the, the chimney for the boiler house there yes, on the right. right. There. And the Toronto Carpet Factory was uh, owned and built by the Hayes family, and they were original manufacturers of woven carpets, blankets, and coats during war times. Okay. Um, and they, uh, they were, this complex was built in uh, 1899 and completed in about 1920. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of really great features that are still preserved, like the railway tracks, which you can't actually see from oh, this yeah? view, but they do go right into the complex. Really? And they've been preserved. Cool. Yes. Now, to my left here, this must still be part of the Gillette complex? Yeah, so this is still what we refer to as the, the castle building. Uh -huh. and they uh, used to manufacture here magic baking powder, oh, as yeah. well as royal yeast cake. So these are two brands that are still on the shelves today um, and available for purchase. Nice. So they're still existing. I wanted to show an interesting place across the street here too because I didn't realize that there were so many uh, hospitality establishments here in uh, in Liberty Village. Uh, what is this place called here? This is called School mm -hmm. and um, it is a great restaurant that is known actually for its brunch and uh, this building is part of the Toronto Carpet Factory complex again. Okay. So a lot of these complexes are divided, divided up into smaller business. I like that. Detention. Yes. School. They play. They play on the school. The school on theme. The school that's theme. for sure. Yes, absolutely. Baked goods. And let's have a look into this patio here. Nice patio and backyard here. It really is a beautiful spot. Uh huh. Um, and. Uh, a lot of people like to come hang out, even if they're not on the patio, they were sitting on one of our artistic benches here. Okay. Um, we've got a program in Liberty Village, uh -huh. a benchmark program, and these are arti artist commission benches um, that are throughout the neighborhood. Now these are old city uh, park benches yeah. that are dilapidated and falling apart, and we uh, revitalize them mm -hmm. um, through artist commission works. That's now great. this is called Camouflage by Anthony Culturist, uh -huh. and uh, this is just a fantastic uh, camouflage. See, I didn't even notice it actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it that's, blends that's right the in. Point. It's supposed to blend right in. Exactly. So we've got a series of these throughout the neighborhood. Um, again, it's a, it's a very community type feel here. So people like to sit down on a bench, have some lunch, uh, chat about their days, chat mm -hmm. about work. Now, tell me one thing here. Mm -hmm. I see these panels here on this restaurant and it talks about the Netherlands. This it talks about Brazil. And it talks about Mexico, well, as you and that's have, all part of the school concept? The, well, the soccer concept. So this was a hot spot. This is the Netherlands home base during the World oh. Cup. And a lot of soccer fans down that's in this area. Right. Being that the BMO Field and the Toronto FC play just across the way, uh -huh. the Village is a natural destination spot for people to come and support the, the different soccer teams, that either before they sense. go and watch the Toronto game, yeah. or yeah. just to support their own home country team. Exactly. So this is quite a busy area for soccer. Uh huh. Um, you can see on the right, Lamport, Lamport Stadium. Lamport Stadium, a historical stadium in Toronto that's still being used right now. Yes, it's still being used mm -hmm. uh, throughout the 
year, 12 months a year, it has a bubble up uh, during the winter months. So uh, there are lacrosse practices and soccer practices. Now this is, interestingly enough, the site of the former Andrew Mercer's Reformatory for Women. Oh yeah. So it was a woman's prison right here in this location that was torn down uh, in the 50s or 60s and Lamport Stadium was subsequently built. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so this used to be the site of a woman's reformatory with the doors exiting onto Liberty Street. Yeah, Liberty Liberation. Street, right here. That's Liberty Street. Yeah, actually very interesting that yeah. it's called uh, uh, Liberty Street right mm -hmm. next to the prison. Yep. And just to give you an idea of how close this whole area is to downtown Toronto, we've got uh, images here of uh, the downtown with the CN Tower right there, some of the bank towers in downtown Toronto. About maybe what, 15 minute hop on the streetcar yep. from here, mm -hmm. the King Streetcar to downtown Toronto? Yes, absolutely. So, wonderful location here at Liberty Village. Just if somebody wants to find out a bit more information about your area, uh, where would they go actually on the on the net? Well, they can go to www.LibertyVillage.ca. Okay. And that will take you to the website with a directory of the businesses, maps of the area, uh, historical information on some of the buildings, uh, leasing contacts mm -hmm. uh, if someone wants is interested in moving a business here or living here. Um, so there's really a wealth of information there. Great. Thank you so much, Francesca. No problem.